How about now? Is there audio? No audio. Okay. <laughs> you got audio? Barely hear me. Good audio. Got audio now. Okay. Okay. It's not doubled. It's not freaking out. It's just audio. Pretty low. Okay. So this is why we're doing this. I can't see shit. Uh, this is a brand new. This is. All right. Let's see. If I move this closer, is that any better? There's latency, so I gotta wait. This thing freezing? Is that better? All right, let's go do it like this. How about now? All right. How about right there? I'm turning it up. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for all y'all to be in, in, in a uh, clear pattern of that's good. So if I go all the way loud and clear, audio, is that too high? Still pretty low. I mean, that's pretty high. <laughs> all right, so that should be pretty, that should be decently high right there, right? Uh, top of the headphones on, it's real low, the volume's up on the phone. I can't turn my voice up. Well, I can, I can start yelling. But I shouldn't have to. Good, 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 good. Hi! <laughs> uh, let's see, it's good. Alright, so what's going on? Good morning. No, it's not morning. Shit. This is my morning, I've been running nights for a week. So I'm just, uh, let me try this here. What I don't want to do is blow blow anything out. So you got to tell me if that's good. That's okay. All right. So my morning. How you doing? I'm just setting all this stuff up because I'm going to go live tomorrow morning at around probably 8.15 central time. Uh, I'm going to watch the market and talk for a couple hours while I watch the market, shoot the shit, and uh, discuss some things that are happening in uh, our particular space of the world, and uh, I just wanted to set this thing up. Uh, yeah, don't don't stop wanking to watch me, because I'll make you softer than a son, bitch. Don't you... Uh, yeah, I, I'm not watching crypto markets right now. Don't care because we're, we're in a recession. I don't expect coins to go up. I mean, you can trade them. I do that. Um, oftentimes I'll buy a billion Shiba Shiba and I'll trade it for a point or two points and then I'll get out of it because every point that goes up, I'll, if I am holding a billion of them, I make 1300 bucks for each point, but I'm not. I'm not watching it right now. I, I'm. I'm not a holder. I'm a trader. Ethereum's up, hundred bucks, fifty bucks. Now, none of this is uh, great or good. It's going to keep going down. So we're, we're going to be in the down market for a year. But you can make money on the pumps. I make money on the pumps. I'm a trader. I'm not a investor. Uh, it's not my thing. Uh, well. I have to take that back because I bought five shares of Amazon uh, Friday at, at 2400 something a share. And the split takes effect. Uh, so by Monday, I should have 100 shares of my Amazon. I'll be holding 100 shares of Amazon, I think, Monday. So that would be cool. Healthy? Oh, I'm not healthy. There ain't nothing healthy about me. I've never been healthy. How you doing, T-Bone? Yeah, it's, it's morning for me. 
He would be live on our channel. I'm here in our channel. Who? Who? Me? I'm live. Who's NFC Zola Keys? I'm live on your channel. Okay. Well, maybe maybe I missed that. Day trade? Absolutely. Day trade. I, I'm interested. Tomorrow, tomorrow when the market opens, I'm interested in Tesla. Tesla is so volatile. Whether I mean, last year everybody made money going up. If you don't know how to make money going down, I don't know what to tell you. That's why I'm not a holder of stock. I will uh, go up, make money. I will go down and make money. It's my thing. It's uh, either swing trade, day trade, uh, options play. Um, I'm not a stockholder. There's a lot of people right now who have been holding stock and just just been decimated. They've just been destroyed. And they're going to keep getting destroyed. And the, and the pain is going to keep coming. They, they, put, they went all in. And they can't average down, and they're just going to have to sit there and hold it. And, you know, some of them are okay with holding it, but the uh, largest majority of retail investors who came in during the big boom, the pain. There's a lot of pain and a lot of uncertainty for them. So they're stuck in the bag, and they're going to be stuck in the bag for quite a while. Probably, I would say, early quarter of 2023, maybe. Projection? I don't know. Never know. Uh, da, 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 da. Jerry has a per. Who is Jerry? <laughs> Jerry apparently Jerry has a uh, an addiction. A lot of people. Uh, let's see, come here, J Live simulcasting from our channel tomorrow morning around. It. Okay, so NFG I believe I will be simulcasted apparently on NFG Zolo Keys Holder channel. Uh, my fo it's not a four cylinder Mustang. It's a six cylinder Mustang, and it's basically just sitting outside in the driveway. It's been sitting there for quite some time. Because I mostly drive my uh, F-250 uh, King Ranch now. And I love that truck. So that's that's what I mostly drive now. So I'm actually considering either selling the uh, the Mustang or donating it to a uh, teenager who needs a car. And just taking the write-off on it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. There's two things I got to do to it. Uh, I got to change out the... Um, seatbelt holders because I, I switched seats out put leather seats in the car and I didn't switch out the uh, seatbelt holders so they're showing an error of airbag I bought them off of a GT so I got to switch those out clear that code and I got to uh, I got to do an O2 sensor swap on uh, on the left bank and then uh, it's good to go so I'm, I'm, I'm considering getting rid of the Mustang because I don't do anything with it now because I drive the F-250 love that thing LBC, Tesla's laying off. T See, here's this thing. Here's this thing. <laughs> you had a leaked email that went to Reuters saying that Tesla's laying off 10% of employees. Then it turns out that it's not the employees, not the actual car man, car workers. It's the uh, work from home upper staff that they're, that they're saying that's 10% of the salaried employees or salary management. And now that's being walked back as of today saying they're going to be growing 25% per annum. I love the volatility of Tesla. I, <laughs> Tesla has made me a lot of money and has also taken a lot of money from me, <laughs> depending on what Elon says on Twitter or what people believe in, you know, in the news, whatever it is, whatever it is. And I play the volatility of the news. So, Tesla can go up, if you're playing options, Tesla can go up 65 to to $100 in a day. It could drop 65 to to $100 in a day. So if you're wrong, and I've been wrong, I've been right, but I've also been wrong. If you're wrong, it's going to eat a lot of your money up. If you're right, it's going to give you a lot of money back in options, if you're playing options. So I'm playing the options. Now, there's a guy named Kevin out there who I watch for entertainment. I don't take any advice from any of these YouTubers. Uh, I have learned that they're there just for entertainment. They have no inside information on anything. Some of them are, are intelligent. Some of them are not. And um, don't, don't follow any YouTubers, you know, playing the stock market. Just, just don't do it. 
they turn into a cult type thing and, and they get stupid. They're there making money off of, you know, meme stock pumping and whatever. I had a point to that. Where'd my point go? So if I say I'm doing something, don't follow me. I'll, I'll, I will lose you some money. Because I, I play high volatility, high, high, it's, it's gambling. And it's, it's, if you're doing it right, it's not gambling. If you don't know what you're doing, it's absolutely gambling. And you're going to lose your ass. So, me, Kevin, say, bought 400 more shares of Tesla uh, at 700 and something. Seven, I don't, I don't catch. He owns 24,000 shares. But he, he put out on Twitter that you know, he, he saw a nice dip. It went from 770 down to like 707 and into the, into the day after hours to 700. So, he bought 400 more shares. I'm thinking it's still going to go down. So I bought shorts. I shorted the position 400 shares. Not against Kevin. I just saw that he did it. Uh, it's got nothing to do with me, Kevin. It's just that he, he's thinking he'll add to his position. I'm thinking you've lost your fucking mind. Not yet. It's an overvalued stock. High volatility. I'm shorting Tesla 400. And I love Tesla. I love when it makes me money going up and going down. So I'm interested. And I got two weeks on the play. So I'm interested in where Tesla's going to go because of all the nonsense that is out in the world news-wise by, you know, Reuters and Wall Street Journal and uh, Elon himself, who is a nightmare. (laughs) He is a nightmare on Twitter. Love it. He's an absolute nightmare. He, He can cost you some money, and he can also make you some money. So my play for uh, the next two weeks is Tesla's going to go down. Will it hit the number that I picked? No. I don't need it to. I need the volatility. Uh, We can talk about that. We can talk about options and volatility and all that other stuff. But I need the volatility, and I just need it to go head in the downward direction. You know what I'm saying? Some say Elon is running the world's largest Ponzi. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he's done very well. Smart guy. I'm not a cultist. I'm not. I'm not an Elon. I'm not that guy. I just watch what he does. I like. I like to watch what he says, because I don't care about Tesla itself. I don't care about the company. I care that it's highly overvalued. I care that it's highly shorted. I care that it's highly volatile. That's all I care about. I don't care about the damn cars. Don't care about the guy. I don't care. None, none of that shit matters. You know, he's a billionaire. Good for him. He's not Tony Stark. You know, I'm not going to sit there and blah blah blah. You know, Elon Musk, Elon Musk, Elon Musk, like these these fucking cultist dipshit boys do. You know, I, I it doesn't matter to me. I care about what. The play is. That's all I care about. So I'm waiting for Monday to make sure that I have 100 shares of Amazon after the stock split. And I'm looking to see over the next two weeks what Tesla's going to do. But basically, I'm looking for the gaps because their volatility is always in the first 45 minutes of the market. And, and I'll have the screen up. So is it going to go up? If it goes up, don't care. It will go down. It, it's like this. It's fantastic. It's fantastic to watch. What's up, Henza? Elon's got his hands into everything. Absolutely. Uh, this this Twitter deal, I thought was very. Let's see, I had I actually held Tesla shares at nine hundred. Okay, I had uh, I think I had like twenty four shares at nine hundred. And then he uh, did he. He announced the Twitter deal. I wasn't ready for that to happen, so I started to lose money immediately because you know people reject were projecting that, um, yeah, he, he's going to sell Tesla shares to prop up the Twitter purchase, which he did. You know, he, he wanted the leverage, and it started to cost me money. So I got out. Uh, didn't lose too much, but I got those were just shares. So I got out of that, came back in. I'm like, no, the market's still going, it's still going down. And let me get out. Let me come back in. Okay, let me do some option plays. And I, I literally did, I was making 5000 a day 
on options plays of the, off the volatility. Not because I was right in the direction, just off the volatility, it's easy to make, you know, $5,000 a day for, and I did that for like five days. And then I got my ass kicked. I'm like, okay, let's step back. Let's calm everything down. <laughs> let's play one. <laughs> let's not play five or six options because they're very juiced. They're very expensive to play. And let's just do one. And let's start to come back. And we're doing that now. So Tesla, if you want to make some money or lose some money, Tesla's absolutely the play to, to get you fucked up. So their home wrecker. I'm back because I, I'm tired of not talking and I'm feeling pretty good. My uh, my life's all right and everything's kind of kind of good. So what is NFG Zello key holder? I don't know who you are, but apparently you're going to simulcast me on your channel. That's fine. That's fine. Anyone can do that. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Big Jack. Big Gap J is what they call them. At the, okay. <laughs> I, I don't go. To, I have a bar here. You see, uh, that's my bar. <laughs> I don't go to bars. They, nobody's saying that about me. How you doing there, Angie? Is Angie Lee? Angie Lee, how you doing? Uh, we can make some drinks, but we're, we're not doing it tonight. Uh, George of seventy eight. Hi, did a long time no see. I just finished my two week notice from OTR Trucking. Got tired of these years sitting in the seat hauling pigs. But my health and mind can't take it anymore. George, I understand. Take your break. Get your shit together. Calm down. You'll get your body fixed. Either come back or don't. It's all up to you, my dude. I mean, if you're done, you're done. If you're not done, go go get about three or four months of uh, massages and uh, some <laughs> and get your back snap, your neck snap. Get, get your shit right, get your health right, and come on back or move on to something else. Understand completely. You found a local job. So you see, okay, there you go. You found a local job. You can make some same money. There you go. There you, home every day and be physical. And Mr. Hunter, I'm late. Didn't know you'd go live. Show us now you have a beard. Uh, yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm old now. Might as well let it grow. Who cares? Let it come on in. So what happened to you around the AMC thing? I had, I was one of those, um, I came in at $12 a share and I went for the, uh, $40 calls. Uh, I think I was, I was one of those lunatics that, that, you know, went out for that $40 call when it was sitting at 12 and when it hit, I was doing when it hit <laughs> for one, two, three, two, for five days, I was pulling $25,000. I was selling off $25,000 at a time for five days. That's what happened when the AMC thing. So $125,000, and I had thirty six thousand dollars left that I left in there, and to see what it would do. So a four thousand dollar investment uh, on the forty dollar calls. And I can't remember how many I had. They were ass cheap, and no, and nobody actually expected them to hit. And when it went from when it when it hit, and it went up to like seventy dollars, I was selling. I was started selling off at the $52 range, anytime I would make 25,000, I would pull $25,000 out of it. So at $4,000 made me over a hundred, uh, about 160, $170,000. Can you believe it? A $4,000 investment over 170,000. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah, so that was a monumental thing. That was badass. It it was it was cool, you know, to pull twenty five grand out a day, uh, and just oh shit, sorry. So, but that's when you know people saying that's when the squeeze had to me. That was a squeeze. I, I I'm a trader. I'm not going to stick around. 
I mean, if it happens again, good for whoever's still in it. But I played the options. I held some stock, made some money there too. Uh, but I wanted, as soon as I learned how to play options and saw that the volatility and the money, now I lost, you, I lost quite a bit of money learning how to do it. But, you know, once you learn how to do it, you, you just get better at it. Yeah. You know, that was a good time. That was a good, <laughs> that was a, that was a good, uh, that was a good week right there. Yeah. You know. Watching that thing go up to uh, 70, 70 bucks. Or was it seventy two or seventy one? Something I don't. I I was out at sixty seven. I was all done. I had already sold all my positions. And I was gone. I was like, I got my money. Peace. <laughs> now there are people who bought in at all those high levels last year, and they're still in it, or they've taken the loss. Yeah, you know? and they're still saying, you know. AMC to 100, AMC to 500, AMC to 1,000, 10,000, no limit, AMC to the moon. Since that $70, $72, it's done nothing but go down. I mean, you might get lucky if it hits 30 bucks, 32 bucks again. I don't know. It, it's a dead cat bounced and done. It, it's, it's, like I said, I'm a trader. I'm not going to sit there. I'm not joining any cults. I, I, I do my thing and then I leave. When I'm done, I'm done. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm freezing up here. Let's see. Over the counter, look for the claw that's closest term to your house. OTC, look. Why did I say over the counter? See, that's, that's my stock brain sitting there. You see that the troublemaker Hensley want me to see him to the door. <laughs> no, he's, he's fine. <laughs> Uh, let's see. At least you still have your hair. Well, I, this ain't going to last much longer. This hair is not going to last much longer. I give it another, I don't know, maybe two years. It'll just, it'll just, yeah, that widow's peak is just growing higher and higher and higher. Is there taxes? Absolutely, there's taxes. There's absolute taxes. There's a, uh, what, there, my brain just locked up. Well, it doesn't suck because you've made the money. It's there. Put it to the side and, and pay it. You know, just put it to the side and pay it. You know, just put it to the side and pay it. I mean, you, you, if it's no different than running a business. I mean, a lot of people didn't sell because they didn't want to pay the taxes. I mean, the taxes are, what are they, um, 15%, depending on the amount. Uh, something like over 500000 or above that number, it gets, you know, quite substantial. But uh, I think it's 15% over a year, maybe 20% under a year, something, something like that. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't even remember. Who cares? Just pay it. I mean, OTC, I'm looking to getting into trucking as a company driver. What's the best company you recommend to go for my CDL training? Uh, go to Prime. Go to, I don't know about Stevens, maybe Prime or Stevens. Prime's got a, a long and very integrated and, um, yeah, go to Prime. Why not? Uh, yeah, that would be my, my recommendation. Go to Prime. They, they'll teach you. They'll teach you right. They, they, you just won't be meeting the seat, making money for some owner op or lease op or whatever. They'll, they'll, they'll literally train you how to be a truck driver. Go, go with them. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm training. Jay does this thing and then he leaves. That's what the ladies say. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, oh, good. Two bit you made 20K on the DWAC. Sure, that's volatile as shit. That's got some nice volatility. Uh, I haven't looked at that in quite a while. That's Trump's uh, social media thing. That one had some great volatility. 
I have to go look. I mean, everything's down now, and I expect it to keep going down for quite some time. And you'll you'll see all the people. Here comes the turn. We I mean, ain't turning shit. The inflation is here, bro. We're, it's recession time. <laughs> We're not going to be printing tendies. <laughs> I mean, you can if you. I mean, if you're playing the options and you know how to do a put, it, you know it. it it's not a 50-50 chance. You actually literally need to do some research, see where the money is, see who, you know, you can make money going up, you can make money going down. I don't know why people have this adverse thing about the stock market is just supposed to go up. <laughs> Hell no, it don't. <laughs> the fun, I mean, but you don't have to short a stock. Okay? That's a whole different thing. But if you're playing options, you can, you can either put calls or you can do puts. That's the simplest option plays you can do. Calls, puts. You want to do iron condors, you know, pussy butterflies, all that other nonsense, you know, credit swaps, you know, debit spreads. Is it going up? Is it going down? And how much time do I need to see if it's going to hit my number? Did I do any research? And how much money do I got over here? Yeah, it, it's, it could be as easy as that. You know, it really can be. Uh, let's see, Jay. What about fuel prices? Are they start going after July? 4th? I don't know when the fuel prices are going down. Uh, I honestly don't care. Um, I actually make money a little bit. Uh, the weeks that I work, I make about two hundred bucks back. Um, because I, I I do Amazon a lot. And when the fuel prices go up, the fuel surcharges go up. They are literally covering the fuel surcharge, which is passed through, uh, is covered more than enough. I mean, I, I, I only pay for insurance, you know, so, and so my outgoing is inconsequential. So they, Amazon pays fuel surcharge, uh, they pay for tolls and all this other stuff. It's it's factored in. It's not free. You know, I just know that I'm not paying as much, and I get about I save about two hundred dollars. I actually get back two hundred bucks after it's all said and done. I'm not worried about the fuel prices, uh, the runs that I make, in the excess. Ex, I can never say that word. In the excess sorrels, I'm covered. I don't. I'm not worried about it. Stock market in Vegas, same thing. Can be. Hell yeah, it can be. What about iron dicks? Yeah, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. <laughs> iron butterflies, <laughs> lead condors, uh, yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> Let's see. So 2-Bit, you got in at 13, really uh, in hell for two days. There you go. I mean, I don't even know what, what's that up to right now. I don't know. Yeah. I wonder what old DWAC is doing. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, digital world acquisitions. That's that's Trump's social media. It's a forty three ninety right now. Uh, ooh, damn. Let's see, what was its high at right there? Yeah, that, that that it's had a good run, but it's getting popped just like everything else is, up in the seventy seventy small dollar range. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What's up, Nick? How you doing, buddy? Well, you probably ain't worried about them fuel prices. <laughs> Dude, I'm the, I actually thought about buying uh, one of those electric, uh, oh, God, what was it called? It's called like a fat tire. It's a fat tire, something or another, it's like 12, 1200 watt fucking electric uh, EV uh, scooter. It can go like 35, 40 miles an hour. It, it just looked cool, and I'm an idiot, and, you know, why not waste 1500 bucks on something completely stupid? Yeah. Like, it could hold me. Mm. Let me get rid of this right here. Most people, let's see, most people, the time or risk taking ability for options. Yeah, it's very risky. It can be very, if you're wrong, it, 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 it'll hurt. It's going to hurt. 
But if you're right, it can pay very well. Uh, what's up there, Black Jesus? How you doing? Did I hear that James Hensley is running a military contract in his truck after all these years? A military contract. Military contract in his truck after all these years. If you get a military contract, you're, you're, you're doing really well. You will do well. Military loves to just give you money. The Enduro. Oh, the, uh, the, oh, dude, they're like the $3,400 Enduros, uh, the 700 watt, uh, dirt bike style. I, I think there's a guy on TikTok that I was watching. I think it's fucking cool. Uh, I think it's a seven, it might, I think it's a 700 watt dirt bike. I mean, the thing just hauls ass. I think he, I saw him uh, clip a clip a cord, or the guy he was he was riding with uh, switch switch some wires around, and he and he went from thirty five to fifty four. He's just wow, the thing's badass. I think you can get those for like three thousand three four hundred dollars. I think they're pretty cool. What's up, Steve Holt? How you doing? Teach Hensley how to unblock, dude. I don't even know how to unblock people anymore. I mean, I haven't done this in in the long like a year. And then before that, I didn't do it before a long time before that. Uh, you're like, you're like, an, I am, dude, I, it took me an hour just to get this thing going. <laughs> I, ha, I have no idea how to, any, how any of this works anymore. I, I got lucky. You know, I got lucky that I got this thing started back up. Uh, so I, I, I can't really do anything for, uh. For, for YouTube and, and <laughs> for YouTube and unblocking or blocking people, I can probably go into this channel and, and figure out how to get people unblocked. Be, be about it. Let's see. Electric has weight limits. Well, you, that's just the thing in FG. Uh, that is true. <laughs> All right. Here's. I want. I want a one wheel. Okay. I was inspired by a guy on TikTok. His name is Duran. He's out of LA. Uh, and he does, and he runs around the LA streets at night on his one wheel. And I was like, that is very cool. I would love to ride a one wheel, but I'm fat, top heavy, and I don't have any balance. So what I did was, uh, I went and bought a skateboard and I fallen just in my house getting on the damn thing three times. So I got the skateboard, I got the wheel swapped out. I got the trucks, you know, and some spacers, all the safety gear, and, and I'm going to relearn after 30 some odd 40 years how to ride a skateboard so that eventually, because there is a weight limit, you're right, uh, the skateboard has is weight rated for me to eventually get a one wheel because it just looks like fun. I'm, I'm into having fun these days, you know, not stressing out about dumb shit. And most everything is dumb shit. So I'm, I'm into having fun. So as soon as I'm able to not die or, you know, get a concussion uh, on the skateboard, I will probably go get a one wheel. But <laughs> there is a weight limit on the one wheel. So hopefully the skateboarding will uh, help me drop some weight to get closer to the weight limit. <laughs> Just so it doesn't bow, you know, bow the metal, uh, metal, metal uh, platform. Because that would be a $2,500 embarrassing thing. So they're quick. So Gary's Gary's got a 450-pound weight limit and has no... Oh, you have one of those stand-up ones. Okay. Okay. Now, that I was looking at. Gary B., are you talking about the, um, the hand... You can't see me. But the hand... You know... What am I... Help me. Help me with this. <laughs> Are you talking about? <laughs> I'm yelling at y'all like you know what the fuck I'm talking about. What I'm trying to tell you what I'm talking about. Help me. <laughs> talking about the stand up one uh, with the the single pole and the flat surface and just the two wheels. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was a long way for me to get out scooter. <laughs> Huh? Do you like it, Gary? Not no, not the Segway, because it's not a Segway, right? Gary, it's not a Segway. Because uh, uh, I'm not talking about the Segway. 
if we're talking about the two little wheels, the two wheels, I mean, the kind like you can rent in a city. Yeah, because I can't do a segue. Those things scare the crap out of me. Oh, you're talking about a segue? Oh, no. Yeah, I can't do a segue. I'll just face plant, die, and that'll be all over with. I'm, uh, let me bring, can I bring up a picture? I'm talking about the ones you can rent in cities. You know, that looks like the kids' ones, but they're bigger, more industrial. Uh, and, you know. We need pictures. We need, <laughs> we need pictures here. I can't help it. <laughs> yeah. Watch. I haven't seen South Park in forever. Uh, see. It's not the segue I'm trying to describe. Uh, it's not. I've seen those. The ones that don't even have a handle. Those those things freak me out. The segways, that auto balancing goddamn thing, you know. I just feel like I'd die on that damn thing. Okay, yours is twice the size. What's the name? Okay, put your name and model number of what you got, Gary. I, I need to see this thing. I yeah. If if you know if I don't know if you're out on the road or whatever, but uh, I I, I need to see what you're talking about because if it's got a 450 pound weight limit. I'm down. What's up, video ventures? What's up, Hyde White? Alan Lai? Lay? Lai? I probably just said that wrong. Yeah, that's fine. I, they're, they're mostly all Chinese scooters. I mean, if you just know the, uh, the make and model, I can look, look it up. An InMotion V5 e-scooter? All right, I got to look it up real quick. Don't go nowhere. Might be able to share this to you. Oh, like a Segway 9 bot? Okay, so Segway makes the things that I'm actually thinking of. Um, how do I get this over? Can I share my desktop? What desktop? Am I? Oh, wait a minute. What the hell did I just do? Let me share my desktop here. Not that. Let me see. Can I do this? Like. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? I'm really being unprofessional about this. Oh, crap. I can't see anything. Oh, never mind. I'll work on this. Oh, God. I can't see anything. And that's what happens when you do that. Dummy. Talking about me. Eh. There we go. Let me bring y'all back up. Let's see. Mine is a tiny. You need to be our headset. Uh, nah. I don't. I, I have games, but I don't game anymore. Uh. It's just not my thing. I'd probably end up just launching myself through like a window or something. It's not. Michael Page, there's always fees. There's always fees. Um, I was thinking about going over to Ninja Trading, but I will do options plays on Weeble or I'll do it on, uh, what's the other one here? Oh, God. Where is it? Why do I, why can I not remember the name of it? On the old Robin and screwing everybody, I'll do them on the Robin, the Hoods, and the Weebles, and that, but I may go over to Ninja Trading, not sure yet. Look up Ryan Scooter, that is like mine, but even faster. Okay, let me look that up real quick. Ryan Scooter. Okay, like the V, okay, well that's not coming out, that's not what we're looking at. Our latest. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. We we are talking about the same damn thing. Okay, that's that's what I was talking about. Okay. Uh, Quicks was at the track day putting up a video. Cool. Okay, cool, cool. So Quicks going to be dropping a video later today. So probably running a sixteen thousand horsepower or something or another 
monster that goes down the track and, and does a quarter mile in negative three seconds because he's that guy. You too old or why aren't you gaming? Uh, I don't have the attention span for it. And I, I have spent enough time of my life either sitting quietly or in my head. So I'm uh, reverting back to my youth and I want to be outside uh, doing fun things, even if it hurts for you know, the first start of it. You know, I, I know I have zero balance. <laughs> so I got to learn balance again. And uh, a one wheels is a goal, but you know, I I, I think the EV uh, sector of entertainment of uh, entertainment uh, vehicles is very very cool, and uh, you know, I want to do that. And it looks like I'm freezing here a little bit. Am I dropping dropping frames? Yeah. Uh, I don't use console. Yeah, I am dropping frames. Well, shit. I don't use console. I am an old uh, PC gamer. I'm, I'm a WASD. Uh, my hands, my big bulky hands, don't do controllers. It, it doesn't make sense to my brain. So if my hands are flat, I, uh, I'll i do F FPSs all day long, racing games, any of that, but I can't do controllers. So I'm a PC gamer or was a PC gamer. I have a good helmet. Uh, LBC, I have a good helmet. Yeah, RTX is right. I, it's 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 a PC. Uh, my kid has every other thing. You know, I I, I hate playing that boy on on all his crap because you know he, he's got that brain in, in dexterity that's like I'm, I'm 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 sitting here trying. What is my right button? And he's over there just laughing, giggling, and and just beating the shit out of me. I'm like, what is this? What do I do to move left? Is it the button? Is it the stupid thing here? Do I have to push this button? Fuck this. And then I rage quit and walk out. Of the room. <laughs> and it just makes them laugh even harder. Oh, he ain't little no more. Yeah. Let's see. He will be turning 18 this year. Yeah, yeah. He's turning 18 this year, uh, graduating next year. He ain't little no more. He ain't little no more. Do I have a PS5? No, I have zero consoles in this house. I, I don't console anything. Do I still talk to Ian Hanna? I have not talked to Ian Hanna. Gosh. A long time probably a little bit more yeah the dog found another home uh last year uh she was not a trucking dog uh it was it wasn't in it was i, mean, I literally lost her twice uh and then it's like that that's it it's because she just did not like the truck she liked it it was something new. It was cool for her for a little bit, and then it was just you know, anytime you open a door, she she was she was like, "I gotta go." I'm like and then I'd have to wait, and I'm like, "I'm sitting here waiting for this dog. She's escaped. Come back." So it became a thing where it, it's yeah, she was not a truck dog. So instead of keeping her prisoner and making her miserable, I had to let her go. So found a new home, and uh, sucks. <laughs> she was a pretty dog just the, just trucking just wasn't for her. my neighbor broke his collarbone first day on one yeah yeah I'll probably break I mean I've broken enough stuff on my body it, it's I mean I know what the pain's gonna become like uh you texted Hensley a picture of a scooter get okay Gary uh, yeah I will I'll see if he can cause he doesn't watch his text or anything I'll see if I can get it Let's see. Okay, I'll get it from him. So here's my question, though, Gary. 400-pound uh, weight limit, 450-pound weight limit. How much was it? And where did you where where did you purchase it from? Did you go through, like, an Amazon or did you go local? Oh, I know. I know. That's why That's why I'm starting. Uh, so Gary's like, a one wheel is not easy to learn. Get a bodysuit with pads. I, here, I'll show you. I'll show you. Here's 
my gear. There's my helmet. Right there. There's my crash pads. These are elbows and uh, elbows and knees. Pull sets. Here's my board. And the escapist is where uh, now I ordered the board, but the escapist up here in Kansas City is uh, who set up my rig for me. Got my fatter wheels on there. Got my spacer in there. And uh, it's horrible. I'm not at the point of having fun yet. <laughs> I'm at the point of discovering that I have zero balance. But I'm well protected. And uh, I fall often, but at slow speeds. So that's a good thing. Uh, guess where? Uh, I'd say Germany. Just with the way you're spelling that. Let's see. I'm actually doing pretty good there. Gotcha animations. Let's see. Yes, I am from the U.S. I'm from uh, the uh, Missouri, Kansas area. The Kansas City area. Let's see here. Well, was, I, I'm, I'm very well traveled. I, I've been around the world quite a bit, and it was the way you spelled. Uh, it was the way you spelled it. The uh, up here. You you retracted it. You're hiding it, so I could. <laughs> it was the way you spelled. Uh, you know, it was the way you spelled. Where do you think I'm from? <laughs> I'm well traveled. I've been around the world. <laughs> I, I, I know things. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. So Gary B with the one wheel. Mm. Yes, uh two bit he is. Am I gay? Only uh every other third Wednesday. Yeah, absolutely. Charles Heaven, we're douching. Okay, now, now you're just speaking German. I can't even do that. But I can do a translator. Hold on. Can I, hold on one second. Let's see if I can translate that. I'll, I'll only do this once. <laughs> oh, well, no. Okay, never mind. Can't get to my translator fast enough. How are you from Brazil? Well... Hello, Brazil. How are you doing? Uh, I, I spent I spent thirty days in your country in, in a uh, in a rental cabana with a couple of lovely ladies in my early twenties. It's a good month. <laughs> Beautiful country. What about your buds? These are uh, Bose Quiet Comforts. I have come back as a silver fox. I, I, there's, I mean, I'm going to be forty nine. See, when did I start YouTube? I was 30-something. But, yeah, I'm going to be 49 uh, in July. So there's, I'm not going to hide my, uh, my age. I'm not going to die anything. It'll just be what it is. Yeah, so these are Bose Quiet Comforts. Uh, they have great um, uh, sa sound dampening. Uh, you can double tap on the left, and it'll, it'll tell you that it's aware. You have full hearing. You double tap it again. It has... Can't hear nothing. Get a ZMX6. I don't know what that is. Put the microphone in the middle of the screen. Maybe this one. Right there. Did you, did you need to see it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the uh, the quiet coverage are blue. Uh, are you talking about your, the one you're suggesting? Thanks, Travis. It looks, it looks all right. Shows my natural age, I think. All right, RTX Gabriel, you're going to have to translate what you put up there. I couldn't get my translator going. So I don't know. I don't know if you're... <laughs> I said, Trogdim Abend, we're Deutsch, something Deutsch. Uh, yeah, okay. Sturmwerf, oh, God. I used to know some of these words. 
205 for our, okay, 205 for RTX Gamer, and I think uh, the gentleman from Brazil is, right, uh, 21, okay, it's all nighttime for you guys, okay, early morning for this one. Have I been painting it at all? No, uh, I should. I do have something, I do have something ready to be painted, <laughs> and it's on a very, very big canvas, but uh, with the camera quality here, it w it's, it's all in pencil. You wouldn't be able to see the detail or anything, but I do have one that's laid out. Uh, I actually just, sorry, I'm throwing up in my mouth. I do uh, need to actually paint it. So when I'm feeling right about being a you know painter, Jay, uh, that it, it's definitely an, an emotional thing, I'll actually do it. I, I won't force painting. Uh, it, it's it never comes out good when you try to force creativity. So when I'm not forcing it. It'll come, and I will lay the paint to canvas. So until then, it's back there. It's penciled out, the concept that I had, and that's what we're going to do. Terra Luna in the fork. Who got fucked in that one? <laughs> uh, Do Quan. Do Quan. You know, when you dare billionaires to bring you down, billionaires, for fun, will do that to you. <laughs> when you are on the internet talking shit like you're poor, or you aren't at my level, or, you know, I'm untouchable quote, unquote, Do Quan of Terra Luna. Or I dare you. <laughs> You're gonna get fucked up. <laughs> the internet loves to fuck with people. <laughs> and they did. And they taught Do Quan a lesson. At the cost of a lot of people just losing it all. The fork ain't going to do shit. Not for a while. Is it, I have, when I saw it happen, I was like, God, that's a lot of money lost. That's a lot of people who, 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 who just got their asses handed to them. That's a massive, massive bank run, rug pull, just decimation. And I ain't touching it. I don't care if three years from now or next year, it, it, it shoots up to three or four bucks. I mean, we're talking about a coin that was being, was just pumping, 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 pump, peg, peg to the, it's, it's all pegged, it's all backed, it's all secure, it's safe. And then they found the loophole. And they found the loophole. And then, and then they didn't like the creator. So they, 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 they found the loophole and just jacked them up. It unpegged. Boom. Did a bunch of this. And boom. And boom. Stable coin is not supposed to lose, you know, what is, how much is it? 64% of its value? 75% of its value? 80% of its value? A stable coin is not supposed to lose that. We're stable. We ain't stable shit. They just unpegged from each other because of, you know, and they just died. Luna died. <laughs> I mean, I watched it on, uh, I watched it go down. Then I watched it go almost to zero. I'm not talking about, not, not just zero. I'm talking about point zero 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 zero. I was like, is it going to happen? It got delisted. It got shut down. It, it got, you know, don't tell the internet that you can't be fucked with. And that's what Do Kwan did. And then Do Kwan learned a lesson that he can be fucked with. Oh, uh, Gary, I have a spacer on there because I have a, uh, I went and got bigger uh, wheels. 
uh, so that I don't, uh, so when I'm trying to do turns, it doesn't uh, wheel bite. Absolutely, too, but the internet is undefeated. As, as much of a badass as anyone thinks they're, they are, there's going to be a, a bigger badass that you don't know about. And, and Do Kwan found out about it. He ran his mouth, he fucked around and found out. And because he found out, all the lunatics, which you know, the Luna people were called, and everyone else who thought it was you know something to, you know a good investment, just got destroyed. Destroyed. Stable coin, my ass. Get the fuck. If you're sitting there touting stable or safe, safe moon, <laughs> those poor souls, <laughs> get the fuck away from me. I don't want nothing to do with it. Uh, wide wheels because uh, softer. It's softer for, it's a softer ride and it's, um, to get over cracks, it's easy. It's, it's kind of like a, because I'm not doing any tricks. So I wanted a softer ride so I could get over cracks and stuff without, you know, getting launched. And wider, uh, so wider and larger. It's just a better ride. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a trick guy. I just want to learn stability uh, and how to get on and off without dying. So I didn't need the, the smaller wheels that the guys would do tricks stuff on. I wanted a nicer, easier ride. Kathy, how are you not dead if you just got stung by a wasp 13 times? Actually, you can't get stung by a single wasp 13 times. You just got hit by a nest. I am not. Gary, I've had more surgeries, more pins put in my body. Now, I just want to learn. <laughs> I just want to learn how to stay on the board. <laughs> stay on the board. And it's not really working out. Let's see. Have you caught up on the drama that occurred during? No, I stayed away. Now I know what's ha I know what happened yesterday. Okay, I I, I watched uh, I watched the live stream of uh, of other trucker James Best, so I do know what's happening there. And like I said last night, like it's it's why is anybody surprised? Why is anybody surprised that that happened? I mean, Jesus. Same, same player, same games. Come back two years from now, same bullshit will be happening. Who cares? <laughs> same dumb shit. Uh, I mean, what's that? Like, at this point, probably about $11,000 that, that the dudes hijacked off of people over a four to five year time period. Why is anybody surprised? What, what what are you gonna do? <laughs> when will people learn? <laughs> Don't fuck with him and money. Don't do that. I will not be riding in empty pools. I just ride on a road. Uh, that'll be the beard, uh, Del Toro. I haven't lost any weight. Let's see. You have not seen me in forever. That is true. I have been quiet, uh, literally quiet, uh, not speaking anywhere other than, you know, the, the like a daily thank you and hope you have a good day type shit for uh, probably damn near a year. It's, it's just the way I am. I don't talk much or ever. I'm, I'm coming and talking now because it's part of my uh, healing process. <laughs> we'll call it that. So what, what, what is happening back over there? You know, I don't give a shit about them. Doesn't matter. It, it's 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 common. It's standard. It's what to be expected. It's cyclical. And we're talking about the drama of you know the old crews that do dumb shit. It's it's common. I mean, I guess there's a whole new group of people that don't understand who these people are. I'm not really here to educate you. I mean, they're shit bags. They'll always be shit bags. If you want to waste your time, waste your time. That doesn't matter. Curtis, this channel. Is, okay. Who am I or who was I? Uh, Curtis, uh, for about eight years. This is not my original channel. This is a side channel that has been gone or null and void for like 
a year, year and a half. I used to be a trucking YouTube channel on my main channel, which was called originally J Canal. Uh, and then for quite a while, I made content in the transportation and trucking space for like new drivers and stuff like that. Had a rather large following uh, around 2019. You know, life, life decided to kick me in the dick on multiple levels. And I had to leave, and this is a side channel where I'm financially, emotionally better. And uh, so there is no real idea for this channel. This is just me uh, testing old equipment and coming back on live, reconnecting with, you know, the human race. It, 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 you know, you know there, there's no specific topic. It's, it's, it's a conversation. So what we're, what we're doing right now is having an old conversation that I used to do a long time ago. So we can talk about anything. Michael Payne says, QA, Q, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can, 600-pound uh, weight limit. I'm not that damn big. I'm, 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 at, I'm at the 320, 330 weight limit. I and mean, I've always actually been there. So I haven't lost any weight. I've just... All right, so here we go. Q power, certainly not one of those electric scooters. Weight capacity of 300, basically 660 pounds. There's an insane amount of capacity for such a small device. See, now that's a big industrial looking son of a bitch right there. And that's only 1600 bucks. Okay, so I didn't know about these. The, the range is 90 miles. That's actually not bad. Let me put that one in my favorites. Cool. What's up, Scott Keller? You're older. Are you? I think you're older than me, Scott. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Thank you, Michael Page. I'm going to put that one in uh, my favorites as, as well as uh, Gary B's. It's nothing hard. Just ride on a skateboard well, unless you go down a giant. Yeah, Gary, I don't know how to stop yet, bro. Okay. this You, you, you do an electric scooters. You already know all this stuff. I haven't done this in 30 some odd years. I don't know how to stop. I don't know how to do any of this shit. I know how to fall. Got it. <laughs> Nailed that. There's no finder's fee because I haven't purchased anything yet. There's no finder's fee. I do like it. That's a, I mean, a 600 pound weight limit. There's but two of me on that damn thing. And it, look, it looks very industrial. <laughs> Let's see. The number one trick on any board sport is don't look that... Now you tell me. Where were you? <laughs> Don't look down. <laughs> oh, shit. I've done every board, sports, skate, surf, weightboard, snowboard. LV says, LVC says, Don't look down. <laughs> Where were you? Oh. So, yeah, so Scott, I, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing good, Mr. Keller. Louis and the King, the Pug. How's your my mom doing fine? I think. She probably text her. <laughs> See, you're older than I am, Scott. Do I still have the Mustang? Yeah, it's sitting out there. I don't drive it much anymore. Uh, I'm I, pondering either selling it or giving it to a teenager that I know who needs a car. Not sure yet. Let's see. Wow, hi, you famous? No. I was never famous. I had a pretty good following, though, but I was never famous. But, you know, it was a good few years. Where's a troll named Canals feeding... What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I'm going to need that. Oh, actually, I might make that one up myself. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, J. Canals colostomy bag. J. Canals uh, leg splint. J. Canals arm brace. J. Canals... Uh, Eye patch, Jake and <laughs> Jake and Al's new liver, <laughs> Jake and Al stitches. Any of those will will probably uh, do very well. Scott, you're not wrong. I, I have fallen more than anything. Title for title. Scott, it's a V6 Mustang with no modifications. This thing a 
not even it's not even beating my dead grandma's ass. Huh. Sorry, grandma. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I don't race that thing against anything. Do I have, still have the Dakota? Uh, yeah, I do. It's actually sitting in the garage there. It might uh, might be selling it uh, in a couple weeks to a young young gentleman who might want it. Camera quality is good, really. Yeah, I don't have any lighting going on. Look up the Wolf King's. Gary B says, look up the Wolf King scooter. It's a three grand scooter, but it'll hold you easy and it's fast. Wolf King scooter. Give me a second. Wolf King. The Kabu Wolf King GT Pro. Oh, okay, never. Yeah, three grand. Okay. The Wolf King GT, 62 miles per hour on a two wheel. Holy shit. Oh, this is how Jay dies. That's a worth Sign up and save fifty dollars off of what thirty seven ninety nine, or oh, I could save two hundred. Uh huh. So two two thousand waters, sixty sixty two miles per hour. That's fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. That is nuts. Oh, dude, this thing does off road. So the battery's in the floorboard. Is that the battery in the floorboard? It looks like it. Oh, this is nuts. Okay, so Wolf King. Anybody can do this, but Wolf King GT Pro. This is how Jay dies. Look at the brakes on that thing. Why am I getting a boner? Ah! I could almost run from the cops. Well, okay. It'll do 62 miles per hour with, say, a 180-pound person. You put double that on <laughs> top speed, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, that thing's sick, dude. That is sick. Okay, I might not just want a one wheel. This is freaking sick. I am putting that. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. Daddy wants one of those. 62 miles an hour. Well, then you already, Scott, you already got me when you put it in the turbo. I mean, what, what's, what's, what's the, what's the horsepower on, on, on yours? Yeah. Mine's like 210. It, it's with no turbo. <laughs> it's got nothing. With a hundred thousand miles on it. <laughs> it's a limp dick. Looks good though. <laughs> what's up, Rambler? Yeah, it's been quite a while. Oh, well, there's a good name. By Shaki? Tell me if I'm saying this wrong. Or right. By Shaki Simple Vlog. By Shaki? I hope. By Shaki. Hopefully I did that right. What's up there, Tanker Yinker John? How you doing? Get the yellow one? Yeah, y'all need to look at these things. These things are sick. <laughs> these things are sick. Oh, they're, yeah. Off-road tires, gold version. Why is that more expensive? Oh, no, it's not actually less. It's like $200 less. The gold version. Off-road tires. Okay, so you put the... Oh, yeah. Get the boner. They're only available for pickup. Where do I got to go to pick it up? Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, this is the wrong website. I need to go to the other website. Cause I, uh, yeah, this one. See, okay, yeah. So Fluid Free Ride, you can buy them from there. They were screwing with me. They are like, I ain't going to California to pick the damn thing. You better ship that thing to me. I'll pay you another 400 bucks for shipping. Let's see, buy a boat, learn to wake. I, I know how to ride. Learn to wakeboard, crashing on water much better than an asshole. I don't, I spent uh, five to six years on the ocean. I don't do the ocean. I don't get, you, you, you know, whales piss shit and sperm all up in this fucking, in the ocean, right? We're talking hundreds of gallons daily from just one whale. You're literally getting, <laughs> you're, I should not use the word literally. You know, you're getting butt pregnant from a whale when you're in the ocean. 
<laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> What's up, Pigtail? <laughs> oh, my God. 465. Yes. God. <laughs> Why would I race my piece of shit? I can't believe I said that. Why would I race my poor V6 Mustang <laughs> against something that has more than double its horsepower? I mean, that's like, here, let me just set it on fire, you know, while you race down the road. I'll sit here and set the Mustang on fire. That way, you know, I can say, you know, sorry, here, here's your car. Because <laughs> fuck me, right? Nero scooters are fast. I have seen Nero scooters. Now, I this is the first time I've seen a an electric scooter where they're where they're straight up saying this thing will go 65 miles 62 miles an hour that's crazy which tells me if it'll go 62 dude that's highway speeds you could <laughs> i don't think anybody should get on the highway with them but that's highway speeds <laughs> come to christ <laughs> i will get there sooner than you think <laughs> at 62 miles an hour <laughs> Oh, me and God will see each other real soon. <laughs> I've seen Jaws. I don't do oceans. You know. Oh, man. Hello there, Stephanie Webster. How are you doing? Pixel says, we miss you in the flower world. My body doesn't miss it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> My body thanks me. <laughs> Uh, Hope is a uh, great business plan to race the Mustang. I'm not racing the Mustang. There's no reason to race that Mustang. I mean, if I if if I had it coyote swapped and, and, and double turboed and didn't tell anybody and had the muffler system where it's total sleeper mode, okay. Of course, that's being a dick, but, you know, I would do it. But in its current condition, no. Uh, let's see... Uh, let's see, da, 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 da. the Nero four goes fifty two more safer speed. We're not looking for safe. <laughs> I mean, I'm stupid. <laughs> I actually told the guy at the skate shop. I said, "Hi, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm forty eight. I don't have any balance. I've already fallen off this thing in my house three times. You know." What adjustments can you help me with? And he did a thing. So we're not looking for safe. We're going out in a blaze of fucking glory. And at 62 miles an hour, it'd be like a big shish kebab just exploding somewhere. It was just like, there's a little bit of Jay over here. There's a little bit of Jay over there. There's a big smear. <laughs> oh, that's where Jay started shitting. <laughs> <laughs> that's where all the blood stopped dripping out and that's when the shit started happening because there's a big mark yeah, that's, that's what's going on there go oh, stop y'all are lit okay Gary at this particular point I think you're trying to you're trying to get me to kill myself that's what you're trying to do hello pale writer how you doing what's up there welcome back I don't want to be Tony Hawk I just want to go straight <laughs> Okay, let's look up the Ryan. It says it goes over, goes 80 miles per hour. Ryan scooter, 80 miles per hour. Dude. Ryan scooter, top speed. Seven, okay, so 75 ESG certified top speed, which means you can modify it. Every, all this stuff can be modified. They put these things in there. They put these little wires and cables, you know, to dampen them down let's see oh what scooter goes 80 the bv thrift 350 from italian scooter maker piaggio can read can reach speeds in the excess of 80 the 350 can travel 200 okay that's stupid google we're not talking about a, 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 a gas powered freaking scooter should have known that from piaggio we're talking about EV, bitches. All right, so the the Ryan, 75 miles an hour. The Kabu Wolf King GT, 61. The Mini Motors could do 60. And the Kabu Wolf King, okay, so 
and do 59. What's the difference? So what's the difference between the Wolf King and the Wolf King GT? Probably just the price and the fit and the finish. But you're looking at three, three and a half, um, close to four grand for these things. And they look badass, man. And that is death-defying speeds. All right. Tell you what. If I do good on my Tesla trade in the next week or two, that's where that money's going to go to. Mm. Uh, okay. I saw some videos of a big boy doing back. Dude, two bit. I, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. And uh, it, it does the backflip without a shirt on, rolls up to the camera and said, this is the, the example of, of ultimate male or something and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Love that. Let's see. Pick this as an awful Saturday. Sell your videos, including your truth about trucking, driving, very much my driving career. Pick I was actually just talking about that uh, last night. I was thinking about doing a 10-year update to the no, because like, somebody sent me a link to a copy of the old no bullshit truth about trucking, uh, I need to watch it. And I was thinking about posting it and then posting like a 10 year updated version of that side by side. You know, I was thinking about making, making that. So you're welcome. You said, thank you. So it's okay. You're welcome. That was a very good video. That was a very good video at the time. And I really look young, handsome. <laughs> You got to, uh, let me see. Uh, hardest part of rollerblading is telling your parents you're gay. <laughs> uh, peak male performance. There you go, Tubit. Peak male performance. Oh, shit. You got a Tesla junk. No, 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 no. No, no. I, I, I'm playing options in the stock market against Tesla for the next two weeks. Uh, I, I Last week, I played stock options against Tesla for the full week. The week prior, I, I played for them. I, you know, I was playing calls, uh, but I'm, I'm doing volatility. I'll be live tomorrow morning around 8.15, and we're going to watch the, watch the market do what it's going to do. Yeah, I, I was seriously considering about doing a 10-year update on that. I need to watch my old one and uh, see what I touched on. And then make sure I retouch those particular topics. No one cares if you... That's true. Shadow, no one cares if anybody's gay. But they love to make fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> Pale Rider always loved that one chip challenge. I threw up so hard. After the camera went off, and it was... That capsasia, whatever that stuff is... That oil sat in my stomach. Uh, it was like 35 minutes after that was all said and done. I was hurling, bro. I mean, I was just hurling. And the worst part was that two hours after that, I had to go drive all night. So, you know, basically trying not to poop myself. And, uh, you know, it was a bad. It was bad. It was worth it. Totally worth it. Uh, you know, to raise money for to get the that that kid some in instrument. And, and by the way, I've had an update about about him. He's doing fine. So I've got the instrument. Does he play? Eh, you know, he does what he does. You know, he's a special needs kid. It's there, loves it. Yeah, still has it. Curtis still has it. <coughs> I'm, about, I'm about just about died swallowing my own spit. See, how can I ride a skateboard, but you can't? I'm for, I, I, okay. Okay. When I rode a skateboard when I was a kid, I did it wrong. Okay. I didn't know what my lead foot was. Okay. I know now. Uh, I'm goofy footed. So, I, uh, and I didn't know that when I was a kid. So, I was doing it all wrong. And I never learned properly. And I hated it because I always just fell and got hurt. But now I know that I'm legitimately goofy footed. So I'm having to relearn how to do that correctly. So, plus, you know, it's exercise. <laughs> and I don't like it. 
<laughs> but I, I'm pushing through. So we've all had those shits and blow. Oh, I've had that a couple times. I mean, I still carry you know the camper shitter in, in my truck, and I've and I've had to use it over the last couple of weeks because I, I get out there in the boonies and like wait waiting for the load. Can't be on. Can't be inside the you know. Can't be inside the goddamn gates or some shit. So you know, hey, that's why I have it. I actually need to clean that out. I'll do that while I'm off this week. I think the last time I had a last time I had a bag shitting moment was in Chicago. <laughs> that was rough. Woo. Mm, that was years ago. That was a rough, rough, rough moment. Damn. Yeah. Okay. We're not gonna relive that. You were just plain goofy. Get it right. True. True. What's up there, Jordan B? How you doing? Long time. Uh, Michael Gallant, CJ, long time you. Missed you, bud. Hope you're well. I'm doing fine. I'm actually doing fine, Michael. Man without a plan is left without a can. <laughs> you know, we've all been truck drivers. <laughs> we've all been there. We were fine. And then, you know, something happens. For some reason, your gut just decides to drop. And it, 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 there it is, just banging on the butthole. <laughs> it's like, if you cough right now, it's done. <laughs> you know, oh, man, I hate, I hate those. It, you, you don't know where it comes from. It sneaks up on you, and it, and it goes from the belly to the lower gut. All right, and, and right down to the right down to your asshole, and it's just waiting for you to screw up. Cough, sneeze, giggle, move wrong. It's bad. Mm. I love watching your Fatty McFarland video. <laughs> Did I make a Fatty McFarland video? Is that me? It's been a long time. Maybe. I love watching your Fatty McFarland video. Let's see. You can ride with any foot forward if your goofy foot that was trying to ride regular first. Not. Yeah, it wasn't. I was. Ha I had my foot on in the back. And I was pushing off as a kid wrong. It was just, it was just all wrong. And, and it just was not a good experience. What headphones? These are uh, Bose Quiet Comforts. Scott left me with nothing but a bucket and a prayer several times. <laughs> you have those moments, man. You have those moments. Scott says, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I, I've, I've had a hot mess life. There's no doubt about it. Let's see. Uh, Pellwright says, I need to get you on one of my Friday night live streams. Well, I am available this Friday. Yeah, I'm actually available this Friday. You are, Scott, you are not. Are you really? Send me a picture, jcanal at gmail.com. Is any of those shirts still out there? That's, that's funny. I remember when, when Ron Duncan... Ron Duncan was the first guy to buy that shirt. And if anybody doesn't know what that shirt is, uh, I got arrested in Iowa 20 some odd years after getting arrested in Iowa for the same thing. <laughs> but I didn't know I, I had a warrant out. And they took a, uh, they took a uh, picture. Uh, what the hell is that called? Words are escaping me. You know, they, they took a, they took a, uh, oh God. <sighs> I hate when I can't figure, when I can't remember a mugshot. Oh my God, mugshot! Yeah, so I had a I had a uh, mugshot taken of me uh, up in um, Iowa. If you ever hear me talk about Iowa, <laughs> I'm always getting fucked in Iowa. If you ever hear me talk about you know getting arrested in Iowa, I hate that that story's gone, but it, you know it's a good story. But yeah, so i took my mugshot and sold t-shirts with jail bars on it and, uh, it was fucking hilarious ron duncan was the first guy to buy that t-shirt and he made sure that i saw that he was wearing that shirt he when he came out to bella floor and i picked him up and, and brought him up uh from texas to uh, missouri he was wearing that shirt 
he just thought it was the most hilarious thing, and I did too. Like, you're literally wearing a shirt of my face, of my mugshot on your on your on your body. And the, oh, the best sock! Oh, picked hell. I miss those socks. Okay. The Des Moines, Iowa prison system, or jail, whatever the heck, county jail. It's it felt like a prison has the most comfortable socks I've ever worn in my life. I mean, if you're going to do time, these are the socks that you want to be wearing. (laughs) I don't know who made them. I don't know where they got them from. But they got a pair of socks that belong to me, and I got a pair of socks that belong to them. I just thought it was fair. They, theirs were gray. Mine were gray. It's fine. It's fine. They got a gray pair. I got a gray pair. It, it all works out in the wash. The best socks I've ever had on in my life. Yeah. Great socks. Des Moines, Iowa, Penn State, State Jail, whatever the fuck that was. Great fucking socks. Oh, good stuff. What's up there, Miss Kiersey? How are you doing? Canal will recommend DC or band shoes. Okay, okay. Now, Gary, I'm wearing Nike Airs. Now, this is like 80 grit paper on the board. So, I haven't really delved into the shoe part of this. So, what's so? Give give, give me your thing on the on the recommendation of DC or Vans. Why DC or Vance specifically should I be looking in that direction while while boarding? So, yeah, let me know what that's about. Because I haven't even looked at the shoe part. And, and I know they're cheaper than, you know, the Nike Airs I got. Look good with the facial. Thank you, Miss Kiersey. I appreciate that. How's it going there, Nets V Blog? Like and share done host. Well, I appreciate that. Vans are the best. Okay. Millie Finn, do I need what? I must have missed something there, Millie. Hold on. Did you say something else? Millie, do you need that shit on the road? Okay, I missed the whole thing there. I must have said something, and now I'm lost on what, what we're discussing. Uh, but well, don't retract. Just Just type it again. Uh, just type the whole question of what is it that you're uh, asking there. Uh, hopefully I'm saying this right, Millie. You're a sexy beast with a beard. I get chicks. <laughs> I'm in a room full of people. If you make me feel sick, they'll see it. I... Okay. You want to see my left nipple? Why am I looking over here? Camera's here. Microphone's here. I got too many directions of doing this shit here. What's up there, Bull? How are you doing? Jim's, yeah, you see. Why are you joking, Jim? What the fuck? <laughs> I do look pretty good with this. I, I don't care if you're straight, Sanby. You want to see my left nipple? <laughs> I mean, what, what, do you, what does your sexual preference have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> no nipple shots, please. <laughs> you need to take a shit to go on the road. Oh, 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 look. Okay. Millie, there's a lot of truck drivers in this chat right now. <laughs> and they will tell you. They would prefer to shit at home before going to work. But a lot of them go OTR, which is over the road, and they won't be home. Okay. It, it, the more you can shit in a safe space, <laughs> the less you're going to shit in a very awkward situation. You got to watch what you eat. If you know this, if you know something specific is going to jack you up while you're out on the road, look, you're, you're vibrating. You're shaking at all times. Your stress levels are high. The tension is high. It's something that you, you grow to get used to and all this other stuff. If you eat the wrong thing, your, your life is going to get miserable. And if you shit yourself, which a lot of adults who truck have, that's happened to, it's not great. Because you don't just, you know, stop working 
and you know find a shower and get rid of clothes and stuff of that nature you your life gets real difficult <laughs> cuz now your truck smells like shit you smell like shit hopefully you got wipes and other things to take care of this particular problem you got to bag up these clothes that now you're down a set of clothing you got to you got to dump these in in the disposal you know in a garbage can somewhere you got to air oh god lord help you if you if you had your ac on recirculation because it's just going to stay in the system and you're going to smell this forever i don't know why we're talking about this but it's a reality of life and trucking you plan <laughs> you plan your meals you plan your stops you have emergency backup plans in place in case you got to jet off the road park on an incline you know and, and strap a bag on <laughs> or sit on a on a home depot bucket uh with kitty litter in it or you know have like a thetford curve you know camping shitter you know you got, you got to plan your life around taking a dump and trucking. It's something you got to do because you can't just pull in anywhere. You're not allowed to do that. You can't just pull off on the side of the highway. I mean, you can, but you got less than ten minutes to do that, and it's not safe. You're going to people on the highway are, are ignorant. You might end up getting killed, or you may end up killing them, and they go in. You don't do that. It's not really recommended to do it on an off ramp or an on ramp. So you can't just pull in anywhere and take a shit. Okay, I think I'm done with that. <laughs> That's going to go into uh, into uh, the no bullshit truth about trucking ten years later because that hasn't changed. <laughs> Flatfoot sneakers are tra look. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, all right, let's see. No nipple shots. She takes shiz to go on the road. I have a racist. Sansy has racist white people trying to kill him. Bro, me too. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> uh, look at my social media, all right? Uh, I'm probably not going to look at your social media. And I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's not for me. I'm not going to. Don't, don't, please don't take that as a personal thing. It's just I, I don't look at other people's social media. Bands are for trick wear, high top basketball shoes. For a True, LVC. True. Ankle support for me, uh, probably a really good idea. Uh, Flatfoot sneakers are trash. Millie's dying. Uh, you, well, uh, don't die. Just, you know, understand it. You know. <laughs> Shit, shitting's not as simple for truck drivers. <laughs> if you want to work off some weight, fly. yeah, I know, Pigtail. I know. Okay, so Scott Keller, for skateboarding, you want flat-footed shoes, especially when learning to skateboard. Why well, I recommend Vans or DCs. Okay, so flat-footed, I'm assuming for it to stick. Uh, wait a minute. I think my Nikes are actually flat. Well, maybe not. I don't know. So Vans or DCs and a recommendation of do Vans. I have to go look at the Vans and DCs. I think DCs have the uh, high tops, mid tops. Try taking a dump in a potato. Try taking a dump in a potato chip bag. That takes skills. Are you talking about like one from a, like a Subway? <laughs> the little one? That takes skills. <laughs> Let's see. Tubit says, the no bullshit about trucking is not how much money you make. It's about which company makes you the happiest. True. I, I'd give that a, about a, that's a, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, money money doesn't solve every issue. Yeah, if if you like what you're doing, it's not really work. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Pigtail made one another art piece. He loves the Einstein. I did an Einstein. I did an Albert Einstein per request of Pigtail. There, I'm glad you like it. So you got to go old. I've tried Chuck Taylor's too, but uh. 
They don't work for me. I got wide, weird feet, and Chuck's just rub rubbing my feet raw. So Chuck's are kind of out of the thing. I never can wear them. You're almost why skate? Okay, great question. Pixel says you're almost fifty. Why skateboarding now? Why not shooting instead? One, you're right. I'm almost fifty. I'm, I'm going to turn forty nine, and I don't want to sit in the house. I want to be mobile. Okay, I want to have fun, uh, and I re- want to learn something new, and I. I like going, I want to go fast. So this is, <laughs> so, I mean, some of these e-scooters. <laughs> okay, the skateboarding thing is just so I can relearn balance. I have zero balance. I don't know how to, I, uh, so before I start getting on e-scooters or one wheels or all this other shit, I got to go find my balance again. So once I find my balance and I'm okay, you know, not fall on my ass all the time, I'll step up to something in the electric electric vehicle style thing. And some of these scooters I didn't even know about, like this Wolf King Cabu or the Cabu, Cab Cabu, Wolf King GT, that motherfucker will haul ass. And that will get me arrested and that'll be hilarious. Like that that's that's a that's a bill I'm willing to pay. Okay. <laughs> canal, yeah, there needs to be a canal with a broken ankle because that's probably going to happen. Let's see. You can get the bands and DCs in the sneaker version. They're just flat on the bottom. Okay. You can make extra money side hustling. Canal with broken ankles. True. When's my birthday? It's July 3rd is my birthday. They make the wide basketball shoes. It's not, it's not the width. It, it is some of the width, but it's just the whole thing about the shoe itself has never worked for me. Ice Hollywood, JC, why can't you or don't you recommend taking crap on the shoulder or off ramp? It only takes 10 minutes, then use a five gallon home to trash bag. Okay, you can do it. For safety reasons, it's not recommended. Okay, just for the purely safety of yourself and, you know, people who are coming on and off the ramps late at night, drunk, not paying attention. It's just not a recommendation. If you can make it now, I will take an on off ramp before I'll take pulling off on the fucking highway or pulling off on, on a shoulder of any road. Don't do it. Don't do it. People are going to get killed. Just don't do it. Just don't do that one. That's, that's too much on an off ramp. Sure. Emergency piss go. It's, it's, it's safer than the other option. I mean, you can sleep on, you can sleep on ramps. I mean, if there's a nice big shoulder, if there's a nice big shoulder, okay. But if if there's clearly signs and it's not a big shoulder on these on and off ramps, there's a reason the signs are there and you're probably putting yourself in a little bit more danger as in like getting yourself stuck or, or, you know, the grade is not stable <laughs> and if you're hauling 80,000 if you're 80,000 pounds maxed out or 65,000 pounds you you may tip yourself over uh go 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 tits up you never know i don't know that that's a that's a you call yeah it's a safety thing i'm, I'm being safety sally right now yeah. have i done it sure never on the road never on the highway never on the road if I have to do it, I'll, of course, I prefer an off ramp with a big wide shoulder. That way the people who are coming on the off ramp can see me from a mile away. They know there's a truck parked on the off ramp. They know it. He's right there. I, I've, I've been looking at him for the last 42 seconds before I actually got here. That would be, a, that's a, that's the way I like to do it. Let's see. Why does it keep? Why do I gotta keep showing YouTube? I don't know why it's doing that. You're not saying. You're not cussing or anything. It should just let you go on there. Uh, skateboarding takes some skill and fun. Yes, and I don't have those yet. I put a V8 in the Stang. I don't need a V8 in the Stang. I got a V8 in, in my F250. Let's see. Two bit play paintball shooting nine year olds is a blast. <laughs> 
topical. <laughs> side by side, uh, very safe and very fast. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. I don't have anywhere really around here to do a side by side, and that's just like another vehicle taking up space. I mean, have you seen? Have you seen? You know, outside, I got. I got a, I got a Silverado, I got a Mustang, I got an F two fifty, and a Dakota sitting in my driveway. Three of these vehicles I don't even use. The e scooter you don't really need balance, but a one wheel, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm trying out the uh, trying out the uh, skateboard. Get balance back. LBC says, buy the Indo Balance Board. It will improve balance in your house. Indo Balance Board. Okay. Indo. Am I, am I dropping frames? Nah, I'm all right. Let's see. Hello there, Isaac Gamer. I've had quite a few gamer names come in here. How y'all doing? What's up, Jeff P? How you doing? Off ramp, they drive into your tail lights. On ramp is better because they are going slower. Yeah. What? Stop retracting your. Just said hi, <laughs> Isaac Gamer. <laughs> You're welcome here. <laughs> I've just noticed that there's quite a few uh, gamer names have come through. Nothing's wrong with that. Don't retract your. Don't retract your message. Stick around. Let's see. Patrick says, "Just got here. Glad to see you're back. Are you still trucking? Yes. Uh, I own my own truck. Uh, I do a bunch of." I do quite a bit of Amazon freight uh, around a 500 mile radius of my home. Um, pays quite well. And like, I just worked, I got, I got off this morning, fell asleep and uh, I'm, I'm pretty much off till next week. I'm going to take, I'm taking this week off and I'll probably go back out next week. It's not a bad life. Give Kirsty the Mustang. She don't want no six. She don't want no V six. She's a V eight girl. Uh, stop being interested in going to the range this week. I have a membership in Lee Summit. Actually, uh, I'm actually. I think I might be going to the range Saturday. Let me get uh, let me get back to you on that one, Pigtail. Uh, let me see. I think I know which range you're talking about, Lee Summit. Might be actually be the one I'm going to. But let me get back to you on that one because I might be going Saturday because uh, with a with a with a cop friend that I have here that I help raise decided to become a cop. I'm proud of him. He's also military. Grew up too, grew up too fast. Huh. Let's see. So, Kirsty misses her sting. Okay, yeah, I will pick tail. I will, because I I don't I don't want to mix up uh, appointments that I have with people. But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll give you a shout and let, and see what your what time frame you're 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 available. Because I I'm literally off this week. I ain't doing shit. Give Kiersey your Mustang. She misses hers. She says, well, Jay, yours is special. There you <laughs> Are you saying that my Mustang is special needs? Hold on. I need something to drink. <laughs> I, think, I, think she just, I think she just called my Mustang special needs. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Hurt my Mustang's feelings. <laughs> oh. Oh, Scott, I mean, if you're going to give me a 429 Cobra jet engine, I'll take it off your hands, bro. Don't tease me with a Cobra jet. Ugh. The Bob and Brad Physical Therapy Channel has good balance exercises. I got a great balance exercise, and it has showed me that I have no balance. I have fallen in that kitchen behind me multiple times. (laughs) 
Kirsty says she did. She didn't say that. <laughs> but at least I have a sense of humor. My poor Mustang. How dare you, madam? Called him special needs. <laughs> Look, you're not the first one to say it or even imply it in any way, shape, or form. It's fine. Because <laughs> that's the only thing that would make that Mustang special. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, my God. I have, I do have quite the collection of watches, Jeff. Uh, I love them. I am a collector. Um, I'm a collector of colognes, per perfumes. Uh, I'm a collector of watches. Um, I mean, yeah. When I get into something, uh, I get into it fully and enjoy it. So, yeah, I got quite a few watches. Come and get it. I can have it. Scott, I can have it. Scott, are you telling me I can have that, bro? Oh, my God. Oh. Scott. You want to kiss? <laughs> you want to make out? <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> Let's see. Ice Hollywood. Let's see. Oh, so you're not OTR. You run about a 500-mile radius where you live now. So, oh, no, bro. Uh, I've been in the Kansas City, uh, Kansas, Missouri area. Uh, winter, when winter hits here, it's a dick slapper. Uh, the ice, I mean, it's, it's, it's like it destroys Denver and because there's nothing between Denver and Kansas City except for flatland. It, there's nothing to block it. <laughs> It just all sweeps across. It's like it's like, hello, Denver, suck it. And then, you know, God just blows across the mountains and it just all comes into Kansas City. And it goes all the way to St. Louis. And that's kind of where it stops. We get it. We get winter. Let's see. Yeah, uh, and my radius, my five, I call, I always just say a 500 mile radius, but it's basically, I'll do, so Kansas City would be central, uh, I will go as far as Denver, or I will go as far as, um, St. Uh, the Twin Cities in Minnesota, I will go as far as uh, Chicago. From Kansas City, I will go as far as West Memphis, or I will go as far as say Dallas Fort Worth. So that's you know, that's the bubble of if you're going to run out of uh, the Amazon here in uh, Kansas City. But there's plenty within inside that bubble. There's plenty of places to stop and do stuff. So it's never you know just. Sometimes I'll get straight runs down and back to somewhere or up and back, but most of the time it'll be three or four stops. But they're very efficient and uh, and they pay well. This stuff will give you ass cancer. It's not even a joke. Randall Russell, how you doing? I have been well. So you truck along with Kirsten says I'm in it in a flirting way. Of course, I would want your staying, but you turned it nasty. <laughs> I've ruined it for you, Kirsty. It's all gone. The magic is gone. Now I made the Mustang stupid. <laughs> Poor Mustang. I, I, I cock blocked you, car. I'm sorry. I cock blocked you. Uh, Tracy, don't roll that way. Trade you a dozen new gel shirts. I don't have any of those shirts. I haven't had those shirts in forever. I, I'm just amazed that, that you ha still have one. That, that's fantastic. Man, that's cool. Uh, Eddie, I haven't painted in a while. I have to be in a very specific space uh, to do that. 
It, it hasn't happened for a while. But there are paintings that are ready to happen, but it's just something I don't force. So when it happens, it happens. West Memphis ain't it, bro. I will say this, though. They, they, they do have uh, term, uh, distribution centers that are easy to get to and out of, and they mostly stay away from the central cities of, of, of the, you know. I'll give them that. You can get to these places fairly easily, unless you're doing Chicago, and then you got, of course, got to go to where these, these places ain't built for trucks. And you can ask Spectre about that, because while I am Jeff Bezos' golden boy, they hate Spectre. <laughs> They hate his ass. <laughs> he gets fucked off for that. Oh, man. Let's see. What the hell am I drinking? I am drinking uh, the Monster Juice, uh, the Aussie uh, Lemonade. It's about the only monster I can stand. Let's see. Chris moved to Springfield, Missouri. I'm enjoying it. You're right about snow here, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. It does snow here. Let's see. What medium do you use for painting? Uh, oils. I, I paint in oils. Uh, Kiersey. I do wet, wet on wet and uh, oils. Thank you, Eddie Blocker. I appreciate that. Randall Russell said, Jeff Peace. Uh, what? I missed it. What? Okay. Jeff said something. There. So you're running on Amazon Relay now. Then that's not a bad gig. Nice and quick. And the trailers aren't trash. True. And light to no weight. Absolutely. And running on your own auto. Or under someone. Uh, I run under uh, Spartan Direct. Uh, I, I pretty much, all I do is Amazon. I, 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 I love the relay system. It suits my lifestyle. It plays, pays very well. And it, and it, Amazon will be there. You know, when everything else starts falling apart, Amazon will, will, will be there. It, actually, they do better and when shit starts falling apart, I'm running my ass off. I'm running my ass off when they, when when shit hit the fan. <laughs> Let's see. So landscape extract. Uh, what? Didn't know you paint. Uh, landscaping. I do landscape. I do uh, water water scenes and stuff of that nature. Curse Jason C says you're alive. <laughs> I am alive. Jason, I am here. How's it? My leg. Oh wow. It has been a long time. Yeah, that was like five years ago. Yeah, my legs, my legs all right. My arms okay. My foot's okay. Uh, any other injuries? <laughs> Plenty. No, but uh, physically, well, you know, my back hurts, but you know, physically, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine there, Jason C. Mum's coming in September if you want to change. No, I do not. I do not pick tail. <laughs> I'm good. I actually just passed Charlie the other day when I was going to do my uh, my my, my uh, Oklahoma City run. I was like, that, that's a pretty great track. That's a pretty Volvo right there. All those Volvos are, are lovely. I was like, ooh, that that one looks nice. That's a good paint job. I looked over and it was Charlie. I'm like, <laughs> he just sped on down the road. That's a good paint job on that truck. Let's see. Jeff B says, if the city is on the first 48, West Memphis, New Orleans, it ain't it. <laughs> True. True. Uh, I like you really don't have, okay, Randall's talking about the Amazon relay system. I like that you really don't have to deal with people. It's all automated. That's my gig, bro. <laughs> I. I mean, my phone, that's all I got to deal with. I hardly ever have to call their ROC system. Automation, love it. I do not care for, um, I don't care for some things. I, you know, I think I'll talk about that at a later time. Uh, there, there are it's not all great and grand, you know, but it is a very, very efficient system. And I do enjoy it. You got a life trick that's not supposed to... Tr right? What anomaly is this, Scott? <laughs> Try the shark skateboard wheels. They go over cracks and gravel. Well, th that's uh, that's why I got the larger and wider wheels uh, LVC on my skateboard. 
uh, they're 60s, uh, and they go over the cracks in the gravel, and they're softer, so it, it doesn't shoot me off. Oh, you're oh back in the old oil field days, Jason. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you got the brand new 860s? Yeah, they're nice. They are nice. I can't, Scott, I can't talk about that. Okay, I can't talk about that. I am legally allowed to say that issue has been resolved. <laughs> That's all I can ever say. RC, good luck. Might as well think of the stupidest thing that you could possibly be done, and that's what they'll do. <laughs> yeah. I wait. Okay. Y'all, y'all, if you've never done the Amazon system, you're not really going to know what we're talking about here. But, Randall, I literally wait to two minutes before departure time to send everything in. I'm like, we ain't doing dumb shit. Boom. Send it in. Request callback. They're out of time. Bob Dale. There's, okay, Not, run empty. <laughs> I don't give them any time to think of something stupid. There's a few works that you can do on the system. Uh, let's see. Resolved, yes. Correct, Big Dale. It has been resolved. So there, Lele Smith. Uh, see everyday lifestyle my YouTube monetization watch time hours not update what do I do your YouTube will not update um, that's interesting if people aren't watching it's not gonna update so I mean I don't know your channel I don't know there's nothing really you can do uh, are you doing long-form videos are you doing short content that I, I, I don't know you would probably have to send in a, a trouble uh, trouble message to YouTube saying, "Hey, why why is nobody watching my shit, or why is my shit not being updated? If I'm getting people to watch my stuff, if I'm getting views, where's my time? I mean, I mean, I don't I don't know your your situation there, bud. Hello, long time to see Harry there, Harry Die Day Die Harry Day. I'm gonna go with Day. How long do I work? Uh, meaning, okay, be more specific with that question. How, how long do I work in a day? How long do I work in a week? How, be more specific. More specific, Lele. If, if I book a con, okay, uh, well, I'll do it this way. If I book a contract, okay, we'll take this week, for example. Uh, I'll work 13 hours. Most likely. But that's not all. Most of it's going to be driving. Uh, and quite a bit of it's going to be waiting for the next leg to start. Next leg being the next trip. So if I'm doing three stops, you know, I, I will work the hours that it takes or the hour. They're so efficient that they you, you will work your hours. They will get their money out of you. So, I mean, I'll do... 12 to 13 I'll drive less how, how do I say this <laughs> my drive time's not going to be any more than 540 or 50 miles okay I'm not going to do any more than that in a shift so I'll go out and then I'll come back now it's only 34 miles away from any uh, of these distribution centers so I can just literally Whenever I'm coming back or coming down, I can just go home and then just get up, you know, 11 hours later and just go back for my next run. I mean, I will only do three runs in a week if I'm on a week. This is getting convoluted because you don't know what it, actually what I'm talking about. Three contracts in a week. I will drive most likely 3,000 miles. Uh... So 500, 500, you know, out, back, out, back, out, back. So they get their money out of you. They get their time and money out of you. I'll, give me some time to think about that so I can actually give you a better answer because what just came out of my face was not good. You're, you're, going, you're going to leave with that information 
with having no information. So give me some time to think about that one and bring that question back up to me. And, uh, and I'll break it down how it actually works. Because that was just horrible. I'm sorry I just did that to you. Uh, yeah, give me some time to think about that. Pronounced with a Y, basically, in Vietnamese, it means hairy nuts. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, I didn't. let me put that up there so everybody else can laugh with me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hairy day. It's, it's a hairy nut sack. <laughs> uh, so if you ever want to do, yeah, I mean, I can go to any, absolutely, I can go to any, um, any board and do that. So that's true. But I have found that uh, the Kansas City and St. Louis areas, pay very very well and, and that's i mean of course i live in this area so that's why i really don't travel that far so i don't mind doing a week a week run i'm home three nights and now i'm home i'll take this next week off and do things other than trucking how many miles uh seven hundred and eighty thousand. i think that's pretty close 780. I've only put uh, 1,000. I'd have to look that up. Less than 200,000 miles on it. Let's see. Kirsty says, convoluted, good word, smart and talented, with poor taste in cars. <laughs> I'm getting slapped again. Let's see. Put up your old... I don't have any of those videos. I don't have those. I would have to remake those. Uh, when I deleted my, my primary channel a couple years ago, they uh, everything just went by. Bye-bye. So Harry, Harry Balls likes listening... <laughs> Harry Day likes listening to my stories. Uh, well, cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. How's oh, it going there, Brandon White? How you doing? Let's see. So Scott's, uh, you oh Scott, are you driving an eight seventy nine, non automatic? Is that what you're saying right there? That was some good. Oh, you talking about uh, seven viewers? You talking about the old videos? I, I might bring, I might remake some of those. I mean, there's there's some stuff that they're just gone. Do I need to turn a light on? I don't know if that'd be a good idea. Hold on. Oh, shit, I can't do it. I can't do it. Let me turn. Nope. I can't tell you why I can't turn that light on. Because you'd laugh at me. But let's just say there's a lot of cables stretching across places. <laughs> but I can't get to that light switch that's over there. Let's see. Pigtail says, your interstate video helped me significantly. Cool, cool, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people that, a lot of people got a lot out of that one. I'm, I'm glad they did. Um and that was explaining how the interstate system worked, um, west to east, north to south, you know, mile, uh, mile markers and all that stuff, and what the interstate system was actually for. Scott says you can't remake a classic. Hmm. I might, I might. There's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I might do, which basically means I'm not committing to anything. I'm not allowed to commit to anything. That's a rule that I have for myself currently. That has to stay in place for at least another year. I can't commit to anything unless there's certain stipulations. Just to keep just to keep me okay. <laughs> That's right. I'm a non, I am currently a non-committer. What's up, R.D.? How you doing, buddy? All right. How long have I been on? Holy shit. 
Two hours and five minutes. Well, that's enough. And RD, you probably just got here, dude, didn't you? <laughs> oh, shit. I absolutely do not want to dispatch Pigtail. Absolutely not. I like dispatching myself. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. <laughs> Kersey, Cur just, just so y'all know, Kersey, Kersey, what am I saying Kersey for? It's Kersey. Kersey's not committed. So, watch out, fellas. This guy says he's going to commit to waking up and taking a dump every goddamn day. What's up there, Gabby gang? How are you? RD's, <laughs> RD's been doing some retirement shit. Are you retired, RD? Have you officially retired? I'm drinking a uh, monster, so he'll be in sleep for me. Uh, hello, Parkio. How you doing? Anything else before we shut it down? All right. Cool, Kirsten. Jesse Lynn, how are you doing? All right, so I'm going to go, I will be live tomorrow morning at around 8.15 Central Time. Uh, and I'm going to be watching how the markets, how the markets talk. You know, I'm, and I'm talking about the stock markets. I'm, I'm interested in seeing what the S&P 500 does. I'm interested in seeing what Amazon does, because I now, they did a stock split. Friday was the last day to buy in for the split so I should Monday I should own 100 shares of Amazon so we'll see if that takes place and I'm interested in what the Tesla stock does there's some people saying oh you know, it's gonna go up and it probably will go up but it's volatile as shit and I'm interested to see within the, the next two weeks if that some bitch is gonna crash not crash but crash down with volatility so I will be live tomorrow morning, 8.15 Central Time. And we'll just shoot the shit. And I'll, I'll have it up in the background. You want to sit there and look at me and sit. We'll just watch it. And, and we'll talk a little bit more. Now I've got to figure out how to turn this stupid thing off. Because I haven't done this in forever. So anything else before I go? Yeah, you, yeah you're, you're all the way out there in, in the West. You probably will. Uh, let's see, Parker, become a man. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Join the military, become a man first. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm about to graduate high school. Would you guys have any advice for me? Well, I mean, okay, I didn't even actually, Parker. I'm sorry, I did not even read your question before I just saw Scott Keller just come out from come out from the back nine and said, "Be a man." Uh, I'm about to graduate high school. Would I, would I have any advice for you? Parkio, here's my advice. You may be on a long journey. But once you find something that you love, don't let anyone convince you or talk you or intimidate you into walking away from it. Once you find it, not, it could be a relationship, could be a job, could be whatever. Once you find a passion, don't let your parents, don't, don't let some sky daddy, don't let some influence of anything else convince you to walk away from that. That's my advice. It may take you 20 years to find it. It may take you next week. But whenever you find you will know, sir. You or ma'am, you will know because you'll feel it. And don't let anyone deviate you from that. It ain't about money, it's about happiness. Holy shit, I'm like a fucking guru. Tony Robbins can suck my ass. Mm. You're welcome, Parkio. Just remember you heard it from me first. Yeah, don't remember that part. Just remember the other part. Because that part's actually true. 
All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not actually going anywhere. I'm just turning this off so you can't see me. But uh, I, yeah, I'll try. I'll try and get some sleep, readjust my sleep schedule, and I will be back uh, tomorrow morning at eight fifteen Central Time in the morning. Y'all have a good night. Peace out. That's how old I am. I just said peace.